What up, you guys? Some here at Team Blue Panda here to do a card discussion. Um, we're going to talk about uh, two cards that are pretty similar. Uh, they're both very powerful. They're really good spell cards. Uh, I got the suggestion from Team Weirdo, so shout out to them. Uh, we're going to talk about Forbidden Chalice and Forbidden Lance. Uh, do them both in one video. I kind of see no point to not. Uh, put them together. Uh, so for people who don't know, Forbidden Chalice has been around for a while. Uh, select a monster on the field. It gains 400, but its effect is negated. Forbidden Chalice is select to face a monster on the field. It loses 800, but is unaffected by spells and trap cards for the rest of the turn. Um, people who don't know, Forbidden Chalice has been splashed in a lot of different decks. When Angel Flores run, ran his Light Gemini, he ran Forbidden Chalice, and it completely threw off the opponent because it could not get their effects. Uh, you're playing against Gravekeeper, you flip a chalice, uh, you know, spy would get negated, it would gain 400, but it would lose its effect. Sheehan, you know, would attack, uh, you know, you would activate that, it would gain 400, but didn't have the ability to negate spells and traps, so you could easily deprison it away. Um, really good card, really power, uh, you know, really splashable, really techable, works really well in a lot of different decks. Uh, just depends on the playstyle, which worked really well for him and heroes, and just, you know, just like an overall light beatdown deck. Uh, Forbidden Lance is a staple in Gladiator Beasts these days. You rarely will see a Gladiator Beast deck that doesn't run two to three of them. Uh, Lance is amazing because you can lower the attack of one of your opponent's monsters, run it over with the GB, tag out, tag in. Also, it can be used to save your GBs, like when they're targeted by Dark Hole or by D-Prison or anything when they attack. You chain Lance, they lose 800, yes, but the attack still goes through, tag out, tag in, and it works wonderful. These two cards are very powerful. Like I said, Chalice would probably not be used in G but be used more in um, you know kind of like stun variants of decks it's kind of like a stun card because you know negating an effect of a monster is amazing and I mean yeah they gain 400 but losing their effect is key to win games so like you can chalice Caius chalice a lot of different monsters that would just you know throw off your opponent you can chalice Trishula uh, cards that have their ignition effects you know you chain you know you negate their effect it's amazing um, I think, you know, just just two really, really good cards that, you know, deserve to be profiled. I decided to do them together because, I mean, they're pretty similar uh, with the increasing or decreasing of attack, negating of stuff. Um, Lance is amazing in GBs, if people don't already know. It works so well because you need to be able to bypass spells and traps in order to get your attacks in, and you need to be able to decrease monsters attack during damage steps so you can run them over and tag out and tag in that's why GB's have so much control if people didn't know they work really well um, with other decks but um, what's cool is that you know cards like that work really well and I like them I think they're amazing they definitely deserve some attention I highly suggest any GB player who's going to run the deck in the future. I'm probably going to be one of them my, myself. You got to run Lance. It works amazing. Uh, you'd be silly not to because it works during damage step, which is key for the Gladiator Beast to go through and get their attacks off. Uh, same goes for Forbidden Chalice. Not so much in GB, but in other decks where you need to have control and negating effects is big control. So that's all I got to say, you guys. Uh, Forbidden Lance, Forbidden Chalice, two really, really good cards that definitely deserve some attention. Shout out to Team Weirdos for this for the idea. Um, hopefully, you know, this... Uh, clears things up for people who didn't know what they do. I highly suggest you use one, if not both. Forbidden Lance is a staple in GB. You gotta run it. Um, could work almost in any other deck. I've seen it in scrap decks, other decks. It just works, you guys. End of story. Forbidden Lance is amazing. Chalice is amazing. Negating effects is awesome because that's how you win games. So that's all I gotta say, you guys. You know, Leave me your feedback below. What do you think is better, Chalice or Lance, and why? Um, I personally think Lance is a little bit better because it's so versatile in GBs that um, it just works. Spells and traps are your main concern. So uh, that's all I got to say, you guys. You know, leave me your feedback below. Please continue to rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.